Welcome back. Colorado rancher W.D. Farr dedicated his life to improving agriculture, feeding livestock, and managing our precious water resources. Each year, the National Cattlemen's Foundation recognizes Farr's contribution to our industry with a scholarship that's given to graduate students dedicated to continuing his legacy. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Sharon Alseth heads to Fort Collins, Colorado to catch up with one of the first winners of this prestigious award. My passion developed through meat product evaluation. Even as a young child, I enjoyed barbecuing and grilling and uh, eating meat. And so uh, my passion really grew from that. And, and now what I do is I have the opportunity to make sure that those products do eat very well. They do taste good and, and ultimately that they're safe for our consumers. Colorado State University's Dr. Dale Warner says he's very grateful to the late W.D. Farr, a cattleman he never met. I didn't know a whole lot about W.D. Farr uh, before moving to Colorado, but here in agriculture and here at CSU, he's truly a legend, um, not only in beef cattle production or meat production, but also in water management and ag resource management. Dale is a 2007 recipient of the W.D. Farr Scholarship. It's a $12,000 stipend given to grad students in the animal science, environmental science, or agricultural field. Dale carries on FAR's cattle industry efforts through research in red meat quality, shelf life stability, and beef safety. Agriculture is something that we all love um, in this field, and we want to make sure that that's sustainable and profitable in every way. And a big part of that is by making sure that the end product is good and ultimately safe. Dale teaches several classes in animal science and meat science. He focuses on the issues that impact producers and consumers. I get to share my learning experiences with students and help them by teaching them and, and helping them to make a difference in our industry and ultimately you know, pass that back to producers and allow them to be profitable. Dale works with his CSU students to build a successful meat science program. Their commitment to the beef industry and to FAR's legacy is to improve food safety and increase consumer trust. Agriculture is something that um, is obviously instrumental and crucial to our livelihood. And the more students that we can put out in that field and producing high quality, um, safe products to eat, uh, the happier I'll be in 10 to 20 years. So it'd be great. Dale says the FAR Fellowship brings even greater rewards through the people he meets outside the university. In addition to the monetary award was the opportunity to go to National Cattlemen's Beef Association convention or annual convention and to really get to know a lot of people not only at NCBA but also National Cattlemen's Foundation and was able to make tremendous contacts and doing that contacts that I still deal with today um, in my job in academia and so those experiences have proven to be just as, if not more valuable, than the actual fellowship itself. So it was really a great experience all the way around. Reporting from Colorado State University, I'm Sharon Alseth for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.